What's up guys, this is Sean Heather and today we are going to do a quick comparison of benchmarking test score result of Oppo Reno2 and Huawei Nova 5T smartphones. Both of these smartphones, they are mid-range flagship smartphones from their respective brand. Huawei Nova 5T comes with 980 processor, 8GB RAM, 128GB storage, Android 9.1 while Oppo Reno2 comes with a Snapdragon 730G processor, 8GB RAM, 256GB storage and it runs on Android 9.1 as well. Both of them got full HD plus resolution screens as well. So the benchmarking test applications we got today here, they are Android benchmarking, 3 Mark, Geekbench 5, Basemark OS 2 and Basemark X. But before starting this comparison, if you have not subscribed to this channel so far, then just hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get the notification for all of the future uploads. And now we start our benchmark comparison between Oppo Reno2 and Huawei Nova 5T. So first of all, let's start with and to do benchmarking. So Oppo Reno2 scored 258,738 and Huawei Nova 5T scored 364,899. So you can see that the performance of Huawei Nova 5T is much better compared to Oppo Reno2. And if we go to the individual test score result, so here you can compare the CPU, GPU, memory and UX test score result and as you can see that in all of these four, performance of Huawei Nova 5T is better compared to Oppo Reno2. So in Antutu benchmarking, the winner is Huawei Nova 5T. Now let's have a look on 3D Mark. This test is divided in two parts, Slingshot and Slingshot Extreme. And once again, Slingshot Extreme is divided in OpenGL and Vulkan. So in Slingshot, Huawei Nova 5T is scored 3655 while Oppo Reno2 scored 3394. Talking about the Slingshot Extreme, Huawei Nova 5T scored 4108 in OpenGL and 4228 in Vulkan, while Oppo Reno2 scored 2407 in OpenGL and 2262 in Vulkan. So you can see that the difference is huge, nearly 40 to 45 percent more points we are getting on Huawei Nova 5T. The difference is not so much in Slingshot, just 10%. But in all of these three, performance of Huawei Nova 5T is better compared to Oppo Reno2. So in this test as well, the winner is Huawei Nova 5T. Now let's have a look on Geekbench 5. Once again, this test is divided in CPU and Compute. And CPU is divided in single core and multi core. And as you can see, once again, the winner is Huawei Nova 5T. It is scored 673 in single core and 2447 in multi core, while Oppo Reno2 scored 545 in single core and 1730 in multi core. Now, if you go back from here to compute, in compute, Huawei Nova 5T scored 2787 and Oppo Reno2 scored 1068. So once again, performance of Huawei Nova 5T is better compared to Oppo Reno2, especially in compute test. It is scored nearly thrice of Oppo Reno2. So once again, the winner is Huawei Nova 5T. Now let's have a look on Basemark OS2. So Oppo Reno2 scored 3311 and Huawei Nova 5T scored 4315. So once again, the winner is Huawei Nova 5T. And you can have a look on the individual test score result for system, memory, graphics, and web browsing. The difference is not so much between these two smartphones when it comes to web browsing. But as you can see in rest of them, it's pretty huge, especially when we're talking about the graphics and memory. But our concern once again is the overall score. And in that as well, Huawei Nova 5T performed better compared to Oppo Reno2. And now let's have a look on the last test and that's Basemark X. So Huawei Nova 5T scored 45,348 and Oppo Reno2 scored 
43,768. So once again, the winner is Huawei Nova 5T. So in all of these five tests that we have seen here in this video, performance of Nova 5T was better compared to Oppo Reno 2. And you can give the credit to the better hardware specs of the device because it comes with the Kirin 980 processor that's the last year's flagship processor from Huawei. The same processor you will find on Mate 20 Pro and P30 Pro so you can get the idea that you got the flagship level hardware on Huawei Nova 5T even though it's a mid-range smartphone and actually it costs less than Oppo Reno 2 while Oppo Reno 2 comes with Qualcomm Snapdragon 730G processor that's the mid-range flagship processor and considering that its performance is good as well but when we are comparing the performance of these two smartphones in terms of benchmarking test score result then the winner is Huawei Nova 5T. So that's all for now friends. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for all of the future uploads and I'll see you guys next time in another video. Have a nice day.